team Lethal fans! What's up? What's up, pop, 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 pops? Hey, uh, dude, listen, we got the Whipple 3.8 on the Shelby, we got the Whipple 3.0 on the F-150, and the Mach-E GT Performance Edition, and they're all ready to go to the track. Right. What are these things gonna run? I don't know. You wanna find out? Yeah. <laughs> What's up, Team Lethal fans? Three cars, four hours, one guy. I'm gonna run them all. GT500, 21 F150, Mach-E GT Performance Edition. Let's do it! He said it's a load limiter on it, so. But no. I definitely, it feels like the trans was slipping. No, you could tell I felt it. Man, I think it just uh, hurt us with the slipping. All right, well, we'll try it again, right? Let's do it. on the board. I like that. It's oh, nice. I was in a f*** with you, but I forgot it stayed up there. <laughs> Alright, so it's, it's getting better. I think the trans, uh, I mean... We still, have, we still see brake lights. It's got to be the, um, uh, something with the cow. I'll ask Dustin or something like that and make a call, but I mean, I would, I would let it sit for like a minute and then I'll go and do another pass while the trans is warm because there's definitely a good improvement. Yeah. So, but yeah, I'm not touching the brake lights, so I don't know what's going on with you it. Got it on video. Got it on video. Yeah. Trans oil temp is at 156 right now. Engine oil temp 217. Um, diff temp 127. But uh, I mean, basically, uh, you know, it gave me that code or you know whatever clutch overheat when I launched it.
is frustrating. Very frustrating trying to drive this car. Every time I try and launch it, it's DCT clutch overheat and it dies on me. Two there you in. have it. It's horrible. I went a nine. I went a nine. Nice, nice. We're making progress. Is this, is this my time slip or no? Nice. Hey. Look at the board. Look at that. I went a nine. All right. God. Well, listen, we got some work to do, but nice. All right. Good stuff. We're making progress, guys. This thing makes so much power. That's just a part of it is dealing with this whole like DCT thing, the launch control, and we are having some issues where it does show like the clutches are overheating when I launch the car. So I can't get a real solid launch out of it, but gosh, I got my nine. Perfect. Now we got to make our way deeper into the nines and closer to the eights. I don't know how it's going to happen, but we're going to give it a shot. My next run, instead of um, doing it off the foot brake and off the, uh, you know, converter, I'll try and just let it rip, you know what I mean? And see if it catches and does a better 60 foot. We gotta get back into the one five 60 foot range. We were there before. I just, I don't know why I can't get back into it, but we'll give it a shot. And I'm gonna try and not foot brake it this time. I'll just try and launch off the, you know, off the throttle and see how it goes. But I'll let this one cool down. I guess I'm gonna hop into Shelby and make another pass. take that rear wing off it might go eight really? major progress from where we were before 930s all right it took a lot to do tens I finally cracked into the nines 950 and now on 930 a little more seat time and manual shifting which is recommended and we're going eights that's the plan I'm happy 930s I'm gonna have a celebratory Bud Light is that, that's not the king of all beers, right? It's not really celebratory. No, it's a celebratory beer. Yo, chill. Ooh. <laughs> Bud Light. I'm all about that Bud Light life now, Bud bro. Bud Light. Bud Light. This guy right here, buckets of beers, used to make fun of him all the time, going chilies, buckets of Bud Lights. Him. Now look at me, Bud Light master. Like, we get putting those IPAs in the cooler, man. We're going Bud Lights. Dilly dilly. Woo! Here we are, guys. Great night. I just clicked off a 934 in the Shelby. We almost went 10s in the F-150. Now it's time to take the Mach-E GT Performance Edition down the track and see what it does. I'm excited. Let's do it. Let's do it! Woo! It didn't start. Oh, it did start. <laughs> you just don't hear it. Some go 12s. Come on, Justin. I mean, really.
hurts him. He must have had much better air up there or something like that. A better DA. I don't know to make it happen, but I actually um, did the regular unbridled, not the extend, which turns off like trash control and stuff, and it went quicker. So there you have it. But I love the car. It's really nice. Is there it's enough, quick. Do you see me home in the work tomorrow? Oh, it's. You're gonna have to stop at the turnpike station and charge up. No, you're good. You're good to go. <laughs> awesome. Hey, seriously, great night out. A lot of struggles and stuff. We made it happen though. We went 11, 10 in the F-150, which I know has tens in it easily once we work on the tune uh, and those issues with the uh, the load calculations. The Shelby, I need some more seat time. 930s, 150 plus mile an hour, right? 154 or something like that. No, it was like 150. Okay, 150 point something. Still, I went 930s, and here we go. I just cracked into the 12s with the Mach E. What a great night out with the uh, the Lethal Brigade. What's up, Team Lethal fans? Mustang King in the house. It's a Monday. We're up at Palm Beach International Raceway. We've rented the track for a private rental to run a couple of the Lethal Performance cars. So. I have not been out with our 2020 Shelby GT500 since we put the Whipple on it. If you saw our last video, this car is making over 1,100 wheel horsepower on a Mustang dyno. So the last time I took this down the track was stock. It went 1220s or something like that. So we're out here. I made a couple passes in this thing. It's very tricky figuring out not only the line lock, the launch control. I've talked to a whole bunch of people to help me out with it. And I made a few passes. So what I ran into though, I was having some issues with the DCT overheating the clutches on a few of my launches. So my guys here who are watching me, my team's like, hey, are you stepping on the brake or what are you doing? Are you doing something wrong? I'm not doing anything wrong. It's throwing codes for the DCT. So we made a few passes. I went 10s. I finally cracked into the 9s. I know I should be doing a lot better with how much horsepower it's making, but these cars are very difficult, again, to drive, and I'm just getting used to it. So we're working with our tuner, John Lund Jr. He's sending us a couple revisions to hopefully fix the issue of that DCT clutch thing. So, the next vehicle we've got out here is our 21 F-150 Sportin' the Gen 5 3 liter Whipple Supercharger Kit. Whipple, only game in town with a Supercharger Kit for the 21, only game in town as far as the tuning goes. So. Last time I was here, I went 1187 at 117 miles an hour with a larger pulley, factory exhaust, factory wheels and tire, and a factory converter. This time, we've got a smaller supercharger pulley. We've got some Stainless Works long tube headers as well as their catback exhaust. I've got a drag pack on here from Weld, and I've also got a Circle D Specialties converter. So I made a few passes in it. We're running to a few issues of a load tune calibration issue, I guess, that you say, and that's because of how complex these 21s are, that it was shutting down on me after launching the car. Now, Whipple's aware of this, they're working with us, we've data logged the vehicle, hopefully they can fix these issues again, because they're the only ones that can actually tune this, but I did manage to go 11-10, so close to 10s, I want to run a 10 with this truck so bad, so we're going to give it another shot a little bit after I run the Shelby down the track and uh, see if I can pop into the 10s. Next up! The all new Mustang Mach-E GT Performance Edition. We just picked this up last week. I gotta tell you something guys, for an electric vehicle, it's beautiful. This would be a great daily driver. This thing boogies, 634 foot pounds of torque. The interior on it is gorgeous. It moves out and again, it drives really nice. Yeah, you gotta go and charge it up, but who cares, whatever. It's all good. I support Ford and the technology. So, it's got a beautiful frunk here. I'm not even sure where the engine is. We have not made any passes in this yet. I believe they're supposed to do zero to 60 in three and a half seconds and go 1230s or so in a quarter mile. I guess we're gonna find out soon. In the meantime, we're gonna close up the frunk and I'm gonna get rolling. How am I feeling? How am I feeling? I'm a little frustrated. I mean, I'm out here, I'm running three different cars. I haven't run this yet, but I gotta tell you something, moving from one vehicle to another, making passes in the F-150, I was hot lapping that thing going around and around and around. I want that 10. And then moving over to the Shelby and having the issues with that, with the uh, clutches heating up and stuff. Drag racing doesn't always work out the way you want it. Yeah, I had like low nines in my mind for the Shelby. I want tens for the truck. But it's just, again, part of drag racing, you have issues. So we're gonna keep at it. We're gonna make a couple more passes, hopefully make a couple changes. John Lund's working on the tune on the Shelby. Not much we can do on the F-150 right now, except keep on running it and see if we get that 10. I'm gonna give it a shot. And, you know, I don't even know what to say anymore, guys. Like, again, it's been a very long night. It is frustrating when things don't work out the way you want it to. But that's all part of drag racing. The guys who came out here with us, first pass, broke the drivetrain on their uh, their truck, and that's it. So I'm fortunate things haven't broke yet, and I hope nothing breaks going forward.